What is up everyone? It's your girl Crystal here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can tell by the title of the video, is going to be my post-op of my breast augmentation. So I recorded from 20 minutes after I got out of surgery to the following day and the following day. So you'll kind of get to see where I'm at, you know, the following days. I do want to warn you guys that the first video is a little bit, I'm a little bit out of it. I'll explain in the video how I'm feeling, but you can kind of just tell in my voice that I'm still kind of groggy from the anesthesia, but I'll tell you guys how I'm feeling and everything you need to know. Also, something I wanted to tell you guys before I get into this video, which I'm sure you guys will be interested in, Athenix Body Sculpting Institute is actually giving back to you guys and will be donating a plastic surgery. So I will be telling you guys all the details on my Instagram, so make sure you guys are on my Instagram following me at crystal underscore breeze underscore to learn all the details about getting a free plastic surgery done with a Phoenix all right so jumping right into the video the clips are kind of kind of be jumpy a little bit just because I just because I recorded when I could and I was just kind of laying down all day so I look tired I look a mess so it comes with the post-op so peach is now crying so I'll jump into the first clips and I'll see you guys after hey guys so I just got out of surgery and I feel so good actually and I'm really surprised I didn't wake up with any anesthesia side effects I'm not nauseous I feel good the only thing is that I feel is kind of soreness in my breast but that's pretty much it and that's obviously 100% normal um, I feel pretty good I mean I I was trying to fight to stay up when I woke up from the anesthesia um, just because I feel like I was sleeping a lot. But I feel really good right now. We are at Walgreens, I think. I'm pretty sure it's a Walgreens. Picking up some medication. But yeah, other than that, I saw them like for two seconds. I saw my boobs for like two seconds and they looked really good. Um, I was still kind of like groggy and out of it. So, you know, I didn't really have a reaction to it. But they look really good and I'm super excited to actually see them and see the final result. I didn't really get to film pre-op that much, but on a Phoenix's Instagram, they kind of have all like the behind the scenes. They're gonna post the markings. They're gonna post me with the doctor. I know you guys were very curious about um, who my doctor is and all of that. So if you check out a Phoenix's Instagram, you'll see all of that. So last time when I got my tummy tuck, I actually felt very nauseous and I didn't really have such like a big appetite which is very normal but now like with this surgery I have an appetite I don't feel nauseous I feel good I mean it just feels like I worked out my chest like very hard it just feels a little sore that's pretty much it but other than that I'm just tired that's it I want to take a nap and that's probably what I'm gonna do I'm really excited that Dr. Dry did my surgery because you know he's well known he does amazing surgeries you see his before and afters that's that's the doctor to go to all right you guys so it's 5 30 i got out of surgery about like 1 p.m i've just been kind of sleeping the anesthesia off i know i look so amazing right now just enjoy the view um so i'm just wearing the surgical bra and this is like a compression garment to kind of like push down up here other than feeling a little groggy from the anesthesia i actually feel really good um i'm in such little pain i just feel a little bit sore that's pretty much it but i feel like really good i can go out um fine i don't feel like i need to stay in bed um i'll check in with you guys tomorrow for my one day post-op and tell you where i am at that point okay guys so it's the morning after i slept pretty good i slept with a couple pillows behind my back just to be a little bit more elevated so i wouldn't be completely laying down that's what i was told to do i have this on still i think this is what's bothering me a little bit more because it's like compressing so this is the only thing i've taken it off to kind of fix it when i take it off it feels a lot better but i do need to have this on so 
um yeah i mean i still have all the lines and stuff like that um i haven't been able to take a shower or anything yet i'm about to go for my post-op my first appointment and see how that goes but other than that that's a little update all right guys so i'm just waiting for the doctor to come in let me just tell you it feels so different in a good way to have boobs that aren't touching my stomach like this is what it feels like to have normal boobs. <laughs> All right, guys. So the doctor just looked at me. Everything looks good. I just have to rest. Make sure I keep this this thing on 50% of the time. The bra on 100% of the time until they tell me otherwise. They did end up doing the anchor um, an incision. So basically, it goes around the nipple, down, and then a cut under the crease it is a small little incision it's not very big he basically explained to me that he needed to do that so that my boob kind of doesn't droop down a little bit pretty sure that's what he said i actually ran into the doctor before i saw him in a phoenix and um he was like oh you look you look good you don't even look like you had surgery so that's my little update my arm is getting a little bit tired from holding my phone up but i will update you guys whenever there's a new update. So after that last clip, I had my post-op, my one week post-op. Basically, they took off all the bandages. Everything looked really good. I got to see them and you guys, I'm just so happy with the results. I still have to wait for the implants to settle, but overall, I'm just so happy. And if you guys are following me on Instagram, you saw, saw that a Phoenix actually posted me getting marked up by my doctor. And if you guys are interested in knowing my doctor's name, his name is Dr. Dry. So Dr. Dry was marking me up before surgery and you guys can see how my boobs looked like before. So if you're interested in that, that is on their Instagram. So you can go see that. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys my results. It's just not the right time. They're not settled. Um, Everything is still fresh, so I will be showing you guys a before and after, just not yet. So they did tell me that after... So they did tell me to use Vaseline on my incisions to kind of prevent the scarring. And after about four or five weeks, I will start using this scar cream. This is called Novo... Novo? I don't know, Novo Solutions MD Scar Cream Rapid Healing. So I will be using this in a little bit. I can also use this on my tummy tuck scar. Um, they do sell this at the Phoenix or they do sell this on Amazon as well. So I'll let you guys know what I think about this in the future. It is now almost three weeks post-op and I feel really good. Um, I feel like I can pretty much do anything. I'm just told not to lift too much, um, nothing over 10 pounds-ish, but I feel really good. I just kind of feel tender around, you know, the incision area, which is obvious, but I don't have any pain. I actually got off medication, I think around four days after surgery, something like that. I wasn't on any Tylenol or anything like that, so that's good. I was also told that I don't have to wear the garments that they give me anymore, so right now I'm actually wearing my own sports bra, nothing with underwire, so I can wear bralettes, things, something that supports, but nothing harsh on the incisions or anything like that, so no real bras for now, but yeah, I'm really excited. I feel like, you know, I can dress normal just because I can wear bralettes and stuff like that. So that's pretty much my update on everything. I hope you guys found that this video is helpful for your future surgeries. And maybe if you're thinking about going to a Phoenix, I don't know. They're amazing and I really do recommend them. I wouldn't be talking about them if I really didn't. And I wouldn't go back to them if I didn't like them. So... All in all, I hope this video was very informative for you guys and learned a little bit about breast augmentations. I will be making more videos to show you guys before and afters and to kind of update you on my scars, my incisions, on everything step by step because I know some of you guys are really interested in that. So I hope it really helps. But other than that, please check out a Phoenix. Go check out my page to see how they're giving back, how you can enter to get a free surgery from them. And I mean free, like... This is just so insane that they're doing this. It's a free surgery. So yeah, make sure you guys check me out. Check them out. All the links will be in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.